now that you can build a PowerPoint presentation, the only thing left to do is save it and preview it. To save your presentation, simply click on File, and then you're going to want to click Save As. Clicking on Save As will allow you to name your presentation. Now we can click Save, and our file will be saved to our computer. From now on, if we make changes to this presentation and we want to override our old presentation, we can click on the floppy disk icon. This is a quick way to save. Now that we've saved it, we should preview it. We can do that a number of ways. First, you might notice these little icons down in the bottom right. These two at the very end here will allow you to preview. In reading mode, you have your controls on the side here. We can go to the next slide by clicking this blue arrow, or the previous slide by clicking this one. If we want to return to our normal view, we click this icon. To view a full screen presentation, we can click on this icon right here. Now to advance in slides, we simply click. To return to normal mode, we can hit escape on our keyboard. We can also preview our slideshow by clicking on the slideshow tab. From here we can choose to view our slide from the very beginning or from the current slide we're looking at. This mode is very similar to the previous one we looked at or if I click on the screen it will advance my slide and if I ever want to leave I can press the escape key on my keyboard and if we choose another slide and then we click from current slide our presentation will begin on this slide pressing escape will return us to our normal view.